Hello and welcome to another edition of All About Apps from the Clever Rose Studio. As you may have noticed, the world has become obsessed with bots lately. Microsoft, Facebook's and Telegram's recent actions are undeniable proof of this latest craze. Talking about recent events, in the middle of April, Facebook launched a platform enabling developers around the globe to build chatbots for the company's messenger and introduced several services which integrate their agents with the system. Among them are CNN, Spring and Poncho bots. They are ready and waiting for you to talk to them. But what makes chatbots so special? The answer may seem obvious. Being embedded into a messenger, these guys can entertain and provide us with all sorts of information, from the weather forecast to the nearest restaurants in your location in a natural and meaningful way, without having to switch between several applications. Moreover, they could make your entrepreneurial life much easier by not having to develop and maintain a separate application to reach your target audience. Your users are already out there using Telegram, Kik, Messenger or WhatsApp and there are millions of them. All you need is a smart representative acting on behalf of your company within a familiar ecosystem. Today we will try to figure out how to build chatbots and get the best out of them. Let's start by answering a simple question. How do chatbots differ from voice assistants like Siri? To be honest, they are very alike, although there is something that makes bots special. Firstly, chatbots communicate via texting. This method has obvious advantages compared to voice conversation. For example, chatbots are able to recall everything you've said earlier in the chat. Second, chatbots can make predictions about what you're going to ask them. This means you don't have to waste time completing the question. There could be a couple of possible inquiries on the tab bar or within the dialogue. The interesting thing about chatbots is that they learn from users really quickly. We need to remember that chatbots require a very thoughtful approach when it comes to education and behaviour. On the other hand, developers should do their best to avoid similar scenarios with their own bots. For example, Poncho's creators came up with a really witty algorithm allowing a weather cat to rate users by assigning them an internal score. If you swear or just spam the bot with messengers, Poncho will ask you to apologise. If you continue being antisocial, it will not respond for 24 hours as a punishment. In general, there is nothing difficult about searching for and using bots. I'm sure that most of you have already had some hands-on experience with them. Now, development. There are numerous companies who have already offered their help in building bots. Kik, Telegram, Slack and of course Facebook. So from April 12, any developer or business has been able to build bots for Messenger and then submit them for review. The company provides developers with a special Send Receive API, which enables bots to send more than just texts. Chatbots can respond with so-called structured messages, which can include images, links and different CTAs. In other words, users can make ticket reservations, book cars, search for goods, get the recent news and much, much more. There's a distinct possibility that chatbots will evolve into self-dependent, almost natural assistants eventually. But at the moment, they are just a means of searching and getting information, which, to be honest, looks slightly clumsy at times. So, it doesn't look like humanity is going to be enslaved by robots in our lifetime. So far, chatbots are only a threat to mobile apps. Will bots replace applications, or maybe the apps won't let it happen? time will tell. Well, that's all for today. If you want to read the full article, then visit the blog page on the Clever Road website. You'll find the direct link below. See you again soon on the next edition of All About Apps and please don't forget to subscribe.